So my 47th birthday has come and gone and I am still using the Derma Wand. However, I have discovered a few tips and tricks along the way that I am going to share with you today and I'm going to tell you my honest opinion of using the Derma Wand for three-ish months now. The Derma Wand kit came with this Derma Vital pre-face treatment. However, I have stopped using it because it just dries way too quickly on my face. So what I have started doing is using this little bottle of coconut oil that I got at Walmart for like three bucks. And I like to use it because it just makes the wand glide really easily over my skin. So let's put a little bit on my face right now. Oh, that was like, way too many drops but oh well what are you gonna do i really like the way it smells i'm gonna put this all over my face i'm just gonna i'm gonna try to avoid the eyebrow area so that i don't mess up my eyebrows but i am gonna put it even up here above my eyelids because that's where i use the dermal one and now my hands are greasy so i actually need to wash them off before i use the dermal one because i don't want the dermal one slipping out of my hands so my hands are nice and clean and I never put the cap on all the way because this thing is a pain in the ass to open. Oh my God, are you serious right now? Since I've been using the product regularly now for a couple of months, I am not really afraid of the Derma One anymore and I think that my skin has built up a tolerance to it. So now I actually use it at nine. So when you initially touch it to your skin, that's when you're gonna start to feel that little zap, which is not the most amazing feeling. Oh, geez Louise, if you don't wanna feel the zaps, make sure this stays in contact with your skin. So for example, I'm gonna put it up and I tilt it slightly at an angle while I bring it down to the next spot. As long as it's making contact with your skin, you shouldn't really feel any more zapping. As soon as you let it go and touch your skin again, that's when you feel the zap. So the trick is pull your skin so that it smooths out all the wrinkles. You want to hold it there for like five seconds. And I like to do each area usually about two to three times. It's kind of a slow process. You might have come across some videos that show these women that are using the Derma Wand to give it like an instant eye lift. And what they do is they run it up a couple times and all of a sudden their eyebrow is lifted. Honestly, that's what sold me on this product. So I'm gonna do it in front of you right now and you tell me if you see a difference. Does it look lifted to you? I don't think I get the same result. Next, we're gonna move on to the crow's feet. And also what I've learned is you kinda of wanna go in infinity symbol. And then I hold the wand in a spot where all of my wrinkles are lifted. See that? All my wrinkles are, are smoothed out right now where I'm holding it. Please shut your eyes when putting this near your eye. The first night I used this and I wasn't filming, I actually zapped my eyeball. Uh, very briefly and it was very scary and um, I mean I'm fine but I definitely learned a lesson from that whenever I make the initial contact with my skin anywhere near my eyes I keep my eyes shut so I lift it up in the front in the middle and on the end and then I finish it off by smoothing out all my eye wrinkles next I'm gonna move on to the lower part of my face and I do it really slow because I especially hate this. So I hold it there for about five seconds. Sometimes I hold it until I actually can feel the tingle like deep inside my skin. See how smooth my gels are right here? That's what I want to do is hold it there so that it smooths it out. Now for your lines here, it says you should always move in an upward motion. So I do that also. This right here is the spot that I hate the most. but I love when it's smoothed out. So I'm pulling my skin with the wand. The girls in these videos are like running it across their skin like in record time. They're just like zoop, 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 zoop. But for me, 
I mean, maybe I'm just not at that point yet, but it, I don't think that that is really doing anything at this time. So I need to just make sure that I'm stretching out the skin. All right, and that's it. I'm gonna turn off the wand. Well, I'm gonna turn down the dial and put the cap back on. All right, now that my treatment is over, I'm gonna remove the oil from my face with, you guessed it, micellar water. I mean, you don't have to remove the oil. I don't like the greasiness on my skin. And then I'm just gonna finish it off with a little bit of serum. This is Dermalogica Biolumin C Serum. And I like it because it smells like oranges. And then I'm gonna finish it off with this brightening cream from Ren to help with my hyperpigmentation. Now I'm gonna tell you what I think are some of the pros and cons of using the Derma One. First, let's talk about the pros. Personally, I definitely feel a difference in my skin. I feel like it's made my skin seem tighter and smoother, and so far, I've actually been really happy with the results. Using the Derma One has worked better than any of the other products I have tried so far, and as you guys know, I have tried a lot of products but so far I really think this is working I have not had to get any fillers in my skin I do get regular Botox treatments for migraines so if my forehead looks smooth I can't give derma wand all the credit however I am starting to notice a difference in my jowls which are the bane of my existence and I do think that my crow's feet are getting a little bit lighter so now on to the cons First of all, there's a couple of design flaws with this product and I just don't understand their reasoning. Why is there not an off switch on this? I mean, how hard is it to just twist the dial and have it click off? When you plug it in, this thing is live and I don't really love that idea. Second, you guys, this cap is a freaking nightmare. I don't know why they made it so tight to, to take on and off. Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just super weak and I need to eat more spinach so I never fully close the cap on here because I want to be able to open it again another criticism I have are your ads the women in these ads look flawless to me and they say that they're in their 40s which is awesome but I mean we really want to see how it works on someone with wrinkles and I know you guys are gonna tell me well you have no wrinkles blah 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 but that's because I buy crazy gadgets like this and the last thing I have to say about this it is a commitment you have to use the product regularly to see any results and for me this whole process takes about 10 to 15 minutes which it's kind of a long time when you're really tired and want to go to bed. Overall though, I'm pretty pleased with the result. I mean, I could just be tooting my own horn, but I feel like I look pretty good for 47. I mean, I'm that's three years shy of 50. So I'm going to continue to use this. I've been kind of slacking off a little bit just because I'm lazy and don't want to go through with the entire routine every single night. But I have been using it now about three to four times a week. And I'm still pretty pleased. Are my results as dramatic as this chick on the box? Well, I'm not really sure. But let's look at some of these side-by-side -side pictures and you tell me if you notice a difference. Either way, I'm going to keep using the product. This is not a sponsored video. I paid for this product with my own money. I will put a link to that and the other items that I've been using in this video in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you notice a difference? Would you try something like this? Leave me a comment and let me know. If you like this video and more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and be sure to check out some of these other crazy skincare gadgets I've tried throughout the years. And as always, thank you so much for watching.